a head of government to go public with such explosive allegations against the government. At this point, India's reactions are exactly what one would have expected. There was no way that India was just going to sit on its hands after these explosive allegations. Third-party mediation can be useful from the U.S. or perhaps from the U.K. The U.S., which you know has this strategic partnership with India because of indeed this strong view that India can play that role of counterweight to China. So the U.S. is in a tough spot for sure. I know it's very unusual for uh, a, a a head of government to go public with such explosive allegations against the government, and particularly in the case of India. Um, India, so far as I know, has never been accused of any government in the West, particularly a key Western partner like Canada, of being involved in a state-sponsored uh, assassination. So in that sense, to this point, India's reactions are exactly what one would have expected. The tit-for-tat responses, the expulsion of diplomats, the travel advisory warning. And keep in mind as well, the Indian government is very, it likes to be projected as very strong, confident, nationalistic. So there was no way that India was just going to sit on its hands after these explosive allegations um, were, were made. Of course, the best way to resolve it, the most ideal way, which is probably the least likely way to resolve it is for India to agree to cooperate with Canada in Canada's investigation of this assassination. That has been Canada's core consistent demand from day one. That's where third party mediation can be useful from the US or perhaps from the UK or another close friend of both countries. That's the key. I mean, you need to, it, it's too early to look for off ramps, but I think it's not too early to think about how to ensure that each side does not uh, ascend a few more rungs on the escalation, uh, the escalatory ladder. Now, this is a relationship that's important for both Canada and India, and neither country wants to uh, to, to imperil the long term future of the relationship. So I think that the, the hope is that in due course, cooler minds will prevail. But um, you know, it could take some time for that to happen. You know, these these countries, all of which have alliances with Canada that go beyond the intelligence alliance, this Five Eyes alliance as well, they need to find some way to signify, to signal their support to Canada during this very uh, difficult moment. But indeed, those same countries, especially the U.S. and the U.K., they have very important relationships with India as well, and certainly the U.S., which you know, has this strategic partnership with India because of, indeed, this strong view that India can play that role of counterweight to China. So the U.S. is in a tough spot, for sure. Um, so to this point, public messaging from the U.S. has largely been around expressing concern about the allegations, but not going any further than that.